By midsummer, relative peace has come to the mountainside. This season's babies are about to emerge from the maternity burrow for the first time. There are usually between four and six babies in a litter, and they immediately get down to the important business of grazing. Alpine summers are short, so marmots have to feed as fast as they can while they can. Their incisors slice with ease through the tough stalks of flowers and grasses. The babies put on weight very rapidly, but even so, by the end of the summer, they still do not have fat reserves to match those of their parents. In the autumn, the families start on their final harvest, hay, to line their deep burrow in which they will sleep through the winter. By October, the weather has turned really cold. Down in the burrow, the marmot's body temperature has dropped to two degrees centigrade, and their hearts are beating only two or three times a minute. They're hibernating. They're sustained only by their fat reserves, which will have to last them until the following April. They snuggle together to minimize the loss of heat. The youngsters are always in the middle of the pile. With less body weight, they can't afford to let their temperatures drop as low as the adults. The thermal imaging camera shows that a baby glowing orange is several degrees warmer than the adults, which show green. The burrow, which registers blue, is well below freezing point. The adults couldn't keep more than one litter of youngsters warm enough throughout the winter. That is why the dominant female made quite sure that none of her youngsters produced any babies.